Okay, this is Dr. Alcindor and we're looking at the respiratory system of the fetal pig. Let's begin with the nose or the snout. We have the and the nares or the nostrils, external nares or nostrils, which lead into the nasal cavity. Within the nasal cavity, we have the three bony structures, the superior, middle and inferior nasal concave, and in between we have the meatuses. At the back of the nasal cavity towards the pharynx, you have the posterior nasal aperture, or sometimes you may see posterior nares or interior nares, which lead into the pharynx. And of course, the pharynx has the nas three se segments, the nasal, oral, and inferiorly, the laryngopharynx. So air would get from the nasal pharynx to the oral pharynx to the laryngopharynx, and eventually into the larynx. This is the epiglottis. And the epiglottis forms a protective barrier to prevent food from getting into the air passageway. So when we are swallowing food, the epiglottis would close the opening of the larynx to prevent food from getting into the larynx. We have the hard palate. The hard palate forms the floor of the nasal cavity. So here's, this is the opening of the larynx, the glottis, and eventually you would get into the larynx. So here is the larynx, and the larynx has nine cartilages. The epiglottis is the only one that is formed of elastic cartilage. All the eight others are hyaline cartilage. This is the thyroid cartilage, which is the, the largest cartilage of the larynx. It's also formed of hyaline cartilage. And inferiorly, you have the cricoid cartilage. The cricoid cartilage forms a complete uh, ring compared to the thyroid cartilage that does not form a complete ring. So it's like a, it's like a, a, a partial, uh, partial um, ring. We have the trachea. And the trachea, you can see the several uh, cartilaginous rings. Okay, so the trachea goes all the way. The heart has been removed to expose the lung. And from the trachea, the trachea divide, um, eventually gives up this branches called bronchi. So in the fetal pig, you have one, two, three bronchi. This is apical. This is two primary. All right. So we have the two primary bronchi. One is bronchus, and each one leads into the left, right, or the apical portion of the lung. In the fetal pig, we can see we have one lobe, two lobes, three lobes, four, five, six, and seven lobes. All right, so we have seven lobes forming the lung of the fetal pig. Okay, so we have, this is the left lung, the right lung, each having three lobes, and this little long, uh, lobe called the accessory lobe. Then we have the diaphragm. The diaphragm is one of the main organs involved in breathing. It also divides the thoracic cavity from the abdominal cavity. This is the thoracic cavity, and this membrane attached to the wall of the cavity is the parietal pleura. The membrane attached to the lung is the visceral pleura. So parietal pleura, visceral pleura. The same thing on the other side, parietal pleura, visceral pleura. And in between you have the space called the uh, pleural cavity. And of course the cavity is necessary to allow the, spine, the, the lungs to expand and also contract in terms of breathing in and breathing out. Okay, so these are the main organs and structures of the respiratory system. Of course, the primary bronchi would lead to secondary bronchi, to tertiary bronchi, and eventually small bronchioles, and would, air would eventually get into the alveoli where gas exchange would take place. So don't forget alveoli, this is where the gas exchange takes place. All right, so once again, structures you should be familiar with. External nares or nostrils, hard palate, epiglottis. We have the larynx, the entire thing is the larynx. Thyroid cartilage, this large cartilage. Cricoid cartilage, okay, this cartilage down here is a cricoid cartilage, the trachea, 
And you can see that the trachea is a well-formed structure compared to the esophagus that is kind of collapsed. It is well-formed because of the several uh, cartilaginous rings. So we have the trachea which divides into bronchi. We have the apical and the left and right primary bronchi. And of course we have the lungs. We have three lobes on either side and then we have the accessory lobe. We have the parietal pleura, wall of the thoracic cavity, the visceral pleura attached to the lungs, and then of course we have the diaphragm. So these are the structures of the respiratory system you should be familiar with. Once again, I will number these structures just in case you have to be quizzed on these and the instructor can use these numbers to, to have you identify these structures. So we begin with one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven. 11, 12, 13. Arise of 13 structures, at least you should be able to identify. Thank you.